All righty, let's play this again. Here it is, sounds. But we let her live because that's what heroes do. They show mercy. But we let her live because that's what heroes do. They show mercy. All right, let's turn off the sound for now. And I saw your mail, so it's kind of like an inside joke to the bartender at the end. Yeah, I mean, all makes sense. I, I read the mail with your explanations on how he starts and ends. I think from a mechanical point of view, there's something slightly hard when, when that whole body here goes back right there. It feels like, I mean, these are hard chairs. He's pretty big though. He'd probably bend this a bit backwards. It just feels like we could soften that moment just a little bit. Boom. It's a little bit of a bam right there. And you can see as he goes back, especially like that's for me the frame 18, what is it? 17, 18. He kind of locks almost visually pinpointing that area there. So if he goes back, and then hits that point. I would just ease into that a bit more. Oh, we shouldn't come back. Softly, though. Again, imagine. I mean, you know, look at him. He's he's huge. <laughs> it's like that behind the chair. Imagine he leans back. I think this can lean back a bit. Just a bit. Just, that just felt just a bit harsh. But also, it feels like there's a movement back, stop, and then a rotation in Y. So when I screw up, like, you know, you can pinpoint that button or just the, the tie goes back, stop, and then it just moves over. That feels a bit mechanical. And it also feels like it's almost too soon. It's like it almost goes before that arm is going back. I don't mind it here. Like when I look at just that section, I feel like, okay, that arm goes back. Oh, turn me off. I'm just getting here goes back it takes the shoulder back with it but it also takes this with it like there's a there's a connection and connectivity i guess to all of this but right through there it's like the chest goes back while this goes down and back a bit i feel just, it feels a bit weird and it's and that's such a weird comment for me to say to say it's weird it just feels mechanically kind of clunky where we have this big move stop then rotation over before that big move in the arm that would drive that chest to go back. So I would overshoot, come back a bit, wait a bit with that rotation, maybe by the time we get to around here-ish. And then it's a little bit of a one-two moment of this going back, and then it kind of stops. I like that there's still some movement, there's some rotation, but generally it feels like it's just kind of ending there. And then suddenly we have a really sharp elbow drop with a little bit of a uh, shoulder drop as well, but it's mostly where arm goes back, stop, suddenly elbow goes down, which gives this a bit of a, an IK feel. Like there's so much rotational change in that elbow while this is staying the same. Now I know it needs to kind of stay the same because there's liquid in it and he's holding the glass, but just be careful when there's so much movement here, yet the orientation of this is pretty much the same. Like this just feels like an IK arm. I mean, you know better if that's IK or FK, but that's what it feels to me. Is he resting it at the end? No, so I don't know. Maybe it could be something done then with, with FK, but I like the way it feels after that. There's some good life, little tiny things like this line right there where that cup is. It's a bit of a, a, a tangent. I would probably keep it more like this and then lift that arm a little bit and bring that cup out this high just to kind of get away from this line from the tangent with this so picky but like that is nice bit of a line here it's a tangent <laughs> but that to me feels a bit better than just the way it's right there yeah for me it's mostly that like connective stuff it's a little bit sharp here and how much all of this goes back and i look at this line so again, it feels like an IK arm where this is almost glued. And I think if you go back this much, I'm looking at the, at the upper arm going back here. I think you could have maybe this line would then go down to like here. You know I mean like this goes down to here, just a little bit of a translate over. Again, taking away that one axis move back of an IK arm. By the way, I'm so picky just because, you know, this is, we're in the polish stage. So the rest is cool. I like 
all the stuff you have there. Even like when he goes down like that, like that compression through all of this is nice. But be careful, the other thing that makes this stand out so much, if you just look at this section, right, if I scrub, you can see all of this, right? There's something where all of this here, right before it compresses, look at this section, especially where the button is, like there's not much going on right before it compresses. See that? There's so much in here, but nothing really in here. And then suddenly it compresses down. So I will give while this goes down just a bit more influence imagine you're painting weights and that influence goes down just a bit more that's my main thing when i'm looking at all of this is that there's some areas that feel just separated in terms of body mechanics and just the rig like after that it feels a lot better because even like little moves i see how that stuff is still moving where it feels connected. Again, like he's he's a big, big guy, big muscles. That stuff is going to be fairly connected. Watch out. Even here, when he goes back, it feels a bit sharp. I'm looking a bit at that chin line and these lines here. Let's bring the sound back. It's what heroes do. It's what heroes do. It's what heroes do. I would just soften... The amount of down you have and over, it's literally about like a frame or two. I like, I like that is, and it, it it's better with the sound obviously because there's a there's a big like um, like an accent there. The heroes do, heroes do, but it's still like that last frame, and then I feel like a, a big sharp down, and then suddenly there's only a, to the left, and then suddenly up. It's it's like literally a frame or two do. softening just a bit. Let's do. And I think you can get away with it by if you look at the back line here of the head. By just giving this line and a bit of this line some movement in the chest and the head. So you keep the sharpness in here. So I don't want to soften it too much. So you kind of keep the sharpness, but imagine like all of this drives the rest of the body back a bit. And it might also be because you have a little bit of shoulder movement that suddenly sticks right there what is this frame 76 78 somewhere there let's do right that just look at that line on the shoulder when he says do heroes do boop bam it just kind of pops back a bit heroes do they should and i think that, that way you still retain the sharpness because of the line and the audio and everything while keeping that a little bit softer and i really i'm just talking a frame or two they show mercy show mercy only thing on C mercy. Let me scrub. Hold on. Where's my audio here? Mercy. Just doing that, I would extend the corners just a bit more mercy. And yeah, and if you want to open the jaw a tiny bit, like really tiny bit, but it's mostly the corners. Show mercy. Mercy. All I'm reading, if I take the sound off, is show merce. Merce. You know, merce versus mercy. The C at the end is missing to me. Yeah, it's cool. Because the other thing too is that I don't want to loosen up everything too much. I just want to make sure that a big arm move feels connected. But I don't want him to feel super loose. Because again, he's a big guy, big muscles in a suit. There's a certain tightness to him that I don't want to lose. Just, just to make that clear. But I want to make sure that everything feels connected. And that we don't have little pops here and there. The only other thing at the end is like this finger really stands out to me. Like I like you got some movement there. You know, here it feels like it really just kind of sticks out, but it's okay. That's cool. Don't mind that. Then goes back. But then we're just kind of stuck in this, this combination of thumb and index. That just makes this really big here. And then it just all kind of together there and back. So I would, I would potentially on this, you can go up and maybe bring out that thumb here and then rest it again so you have a bit of a different silhouette maybe the index is then a bit lower the thumb comes out just something a bit different this feels suddenly a bit too blocky and simple for a final polish i see some cool compression stuff on the fingers but we can like especially here some changes there but we can push that to the very end it's good hand pose here though in terms of just the finger and the grouping and stuff I'm not going to belabor the tangents that's just me being very picky 
it's like this here. It's, it's too close to me to this line. I would take this and break that line a bit, but then careful my align just with that. I don't know that to me. That's always keep things clean. I like this here. This feels cleaner. I mean, you know, if you have any problems with this, you just take that pole and bring it over here. So you don't have too many lines crossing here. There's a lot of stuff going on there. Which, of course, you know, you can render this in, this, in stages and that's clean and the rest is blurred for some depth of field and then that fixes it. Now, bring back the sounds just quick for the lips. But, but, I think the bot's okay. So you add a compression in and then, but, 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 this really could be my player. To me, it seems but too early. But, speaking of which, always good to open this up in a different player. But, we let her live. Hmm. But, we let her live. But, we let her live. But, we let her live. That seems better. This is the Windows Media Player. I still feel like it's a framework too soon. But, we let her live. It still feels a bit too soon. Your butt is a bit too soon. But usually in this player. But, oh. but it's even a frame. Oh, but or two uh, earlier than what's actually being played last set, I feel like. But we let her live. It was even here. We let her live. Her a bit early. Live. Because that's what heroes do. That's what heroes do. But then it matches nicely here. So you just have to check. This might be, that whole beginning might be a framework too, too early. But if you shift that. Heroes which I don't shift the whole thing because heroes do. I like where this is at in terms of the the sync. They show mercy and the rest as well. But we let her. But we let. But we let. Let, let you might have a bit further in your corner. Let we let her live. But we let her live. But we let her. Just a bit, just a tiny bit like that corner, maybe to here. Just a bit. Again, polish. We let her live. We let her live. I live, live. Even here, I will go up a bit higher in that corner. Careful that it's not super turning into a smile. We let her live. We let her live. We let her live. We let her live. Because to me, it's also in the audio. It just goes up. And I think you want to put that accent just a bit stronger in the shapes. Let her live because that's what heroes do. do. Let her live because that's what heroes do. They show mercy. Yeah, this is cool though. Because it's, I don't see a chatter. Like, there's a lot that he says here. Let's turn the scrubbing off. And I don't feel like it's overly busy and you're back and forth, which is really good. Because that's what heroes do. They show mercy. They show mercy. The only thing I would say is mercy. Mercy. I don't think that jaw is going to be going down so sharply in and back. Just watch the mercy jaw. Do. They show mercy. Mercy. They show mercy. It's a bit... I would give this... See that how your jaw goes down, down. There's a big move suddenly. Like you're easing into it and then you go, bam! And then you go back. There's a one frame direction change and I would give this another frame down a little bit if you can. I know it's going to lower it a little bit. I would just soften this however you see fit there. I don't want it to be locked in space either. But it just feels a... Sh it's mercy. Mercy to me is mercy. If it, it's not like or live because that's what heroes do do like do i can see this being do with the sharper with like a one or two frame ease in to keep that accent versus mercy mercy that has a bit of a longer ease into me so watch out just that section that one frame change there it's a bit harsh but we let her live because that's what heroes do and then through this i'm st i don't know i would cheat the pupils over so we can see them a bit more Especially here, I'm just seeing white at this point. So maybe it's also a little bit of a... I can go up here. Um, you know, maybe slightly reducing the lower lid. Maybe giving us a different kind of eye where it's not just black. Maybe you have a bit of a color with the iris then. So we just don't lose this. Like at this point, I feel like it's here, but we're just kind of losing it. Because we're also losing it completely here. And I want to just keep a little bit of the pupils visible like that. That's fine here. All that reads well. Good little highlight in there. That's nice too. Switch out for that. Like this still reads. 
it's just here. Here it turns into the extra system. Yeah, like I still kind of see it up here, but I think we could give this a bit more. A bit more read, a bigger readability, a readability uh, pass on that. I think that's it. It's very picky. Lots of picky stuff, but it's cool. I like it. But we let her live because that's what he. Yeah, it's mostly it's mostly the bigger pieces to me are the back stop, turn stop, shoulder down, chest inflate. Right? If you think about those moments, back turn, arm, chest. Like they feel like bum 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 bum. You can you can instead of feeling it like this, you just want to combine these and overlap these acts a bit more and just work on that connectivity. And then just little polishy things that I mentioned here and there. All right. It's very, very cool. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.